Hey guys, we are at Harbor Lakes Golf Club, Granbury, Texas today. Um, you guys suggested it, so we're gonna check it out. Let's see, 7,000 from the back, 64. I'm playing with uh, Brandon here, so we might play up one at 64 from the blacks. Yeah, Brandon said, let's play the tips. We might play a little hybrid. There's only one par three that's like 209 that he might not do. It's a whole one par four. Um, is it about four bills? Yeah, about 391. You could lay up short of these bunkers, just something 230 out there. You can go a little beyond them and gain a little bit. Uh, either way, I think you're having a short club in, so. Cut. All right, down the left-hand side, we'll see. It's in play. We're off. Right, looks like we got 162, so tee box is this way, so we're just going dog leg right. 162, pull the tee shot a little bit. Pen looks like right in the middle. A straightforward shot right at it we'll see on distance because I can't see it down all right see so even from here the hole plays uphill you got water all behind it left right so if you're gonna miss miss left short it looks like we had distance dialed in pretty good. Looks like a little just up and to the left. Little JFK shot. Woo, just got there. Opening birdie. Hole two, par five, 572. Uh, cart path is down this way, but it looks like I need to aim this way towards this bunker here. So, all right, good to have GPS. It's not on the cart. So if you come out here and you don't know the course, good luck. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Might be all right, Brandon says. Yeah. Right, so we got 331, we're off a little to the left. So just looking at 150 is about 183 to that. We're gonna punch something down there. Just keep it right of these bunkers, ball above the feet, and a little further right. Oh, heavy stuff. Get down. Where's that damn fescue? Well, 217, so that wasn't great, but we just need to hit a feathery hybrid up there. Uh, it's a little right of the flag. Did we take enough off? Yep, on the green, left kick. That's gonna work out just fine. No need to get angry about some crappy stuff. Crap happens. All right, so looks like we got a little uphill, a little downhill, and coming to the left action. All right, so the uphill wants to push it a little this way. Gets over that hill. It's actually fairly level. This is actually more of a left to right putt than I thought. Oh, big bounce. May have helped kill some speed. See the little left edge, half ball on the edge. Whoa. Bad speed. That was not a confident stroke. Deserve that one. All right, hole three, about 360. So, you can hit driver up and over the bunker if you want to take that on. But I just want something 230, 220. Avoid the water on the right. On land. And I think I just realized that there's a tee box back here. So we're hitting from here. But I think the tips is actually back there. Whoops. Brandon said he's at 127, so we're like at 125. This is asking a bit much for this club, but we're downwind a little bit. Pens up front. So, looks like we can miss a little short and be okay, as long as we don't pull it left. Hit it well. I don't know that's going to get there, though. A little short. 
Yep, just a hair short. But I knew. All right, so this short little chip. Yeah. Play it out a little to the left and let it fall a little to the right. Good distance. Right. Par save. Right, saved my par. Even level. So this hole, hole four, par three, um, can tip out to 240. Today it had it at 211. Brandon said, screw that. We're playing 180. So we're playing from the blacks on this one. The pin's way tucked on the left. Might be in the back. Let's see if we can get back there. A little into the breeze, which means this might not get there. Nope, a little left pull as well. Oh, wind's definitely hitting now. We're well short there. That wind picked up. Yeah. All right, so we were in front of the green. It wasn't horrible. And this isn't actually as far back. It's just deceptive from back there because this side falls down so you don't see it. There's more green there than I thought there was. That's all right. Let's just try to get it up and down with the lob wedge. Little distance control here. Oh no. Should have should have used the 52. Yep. Hit and stick. Up the hill, it's not going to get there. Really? You're going to mess out of this par three. It's no gimme. Ugh. Well, that's a terrible bogey. Hole five, par five. 308 to these bunkers on the right. So we got this narrow shoot to sort of look through. But it looks like if I take it up over this, we fade it back to where that cart is. Macaroo. There we go. All right. Well, apparently, it was in the bunker. I didn't see that, but it is what it is. The lips on these things are tight, cut tight. I think I can get seven up and over that quick enough. I think. I do not think I'm gonna switch to nine. Dang it. Right, switch to nine. Oh, I was scared about hitting that one. But we're out, we're up there, further back than we wanted. All right, well this is the first hole to have some visually difficulty with. The others have played pretty straightforward. We got two, 12 into a par 5 for my third shot, which is not ideal. Into the breeze. <sighs> it's alright. We can get it on. Uh, it's right out of Okay, I thought that was going right. Alright, should be up there. A little right. Confident stroke. There we go. Persistence. Get away, spider. Who was it? Hagen it said four bad shots and one great shot can still make par. That's right. Well, so far through five holes, just one par. Lovely. It's kind of backwards. Birdie, bogey, par, bogey, birdie. <laughs> Short par four. We're going to take Mr. Gilmore, he's been the, the club of the day. Downhill, just hit it this far bunker and hopefully you don't go in it. And stay short of it. Right at it. Let's just see about distance. Should be good. It's club's money today. Mr. Gilmore, yes.
the hybrido from rose and fire and right at about a hundred yards back into the breeze a little Right next, stay, stay. Yeah, some Raz. Got two birdie looks here. Brandon's got a nice look, and he has got a little tap in. On the Brooklyn side. All right, hole seven, four thirty something, I think. Looks like we can just hit straight off this line and let it fade back a little bit. Pop a Smurf. SLDR got benched. For a reason. Beauty. Ground's a little wet right here. Ball there. Ball there. 182 back into the breeze. Pen loses middle ish. Oh, yeah, there goes some mud. Miss the bunker. Kick left for me. Yes, the kick left. I'm getting good kicks today. Yeah, I'm a cheater. <laughs> this is the best part about grooveless clubs right here. Mm -hmm. You don't have to take a brush to clean that. Look at that. Already uh, done. Look at that. Look at you that. Wipe it off on your Just wipe it off. Yeah. I should have been watching Brandon's putt instead of fixing all these ball marks. Looks pretty straight ahead though. Yeah, it didn't break much at all. Okay. Turkey! That's three. Hole eight. They need to mow this tee. But one, we're going to say 155. Pins over here on the left. Can't pull it left. Big no-no. So we're aiming a little bit right of the flag. Because I have a tendency to pull it left. Well, we made sure that didn't happen. Distance-wise, looks like it's putting. It's going to be a long for the fourth in a row, but I don't think I'm getting it. All right, it was the right club. Just played it safe and out to the right. For some reason, I want to feel like this is going to want to go this way, but no. Now I see it. It's got to go a little left. So I want to play it. No, that was more than a ball outside the right. And it broke more than that. Wow. Still never got it there. It was a fun run. Hole nine, 380. Water all down this left-hand side, so just play out towards this 150. So we're taking big stick. Take advantage. Beauty. She's flying straighter today. Nice. My boy Ty was saying that this, you know, some of these holes have a little bit of a Florida vibe, and I'm definitely getting that last par three. This one with these wooden planks along the lake. All right, 120 according to the GPS. A little downwind. Should be an ideal gap wedge. Oh, that's going to be short right. Man, you just didn't trust that swing. Oh, that was ugly. A little pitch shot. I think I'm going to go gap wedge instead of lob wedge. Spin and bite. Yeah, good distance. There we go. Clean up. The front nine. That is the front from Harbor Lakes. So are grooveless Pretty nice. legal? Yep. There are no rules saying you have to have grooves. Okay. It's if you have grooves, what they, they have to be. Yeah. Certain depth. Yes, sir. Too deep. All right, finished two under. It's a good stretch there. All right, not bad. First time seeing the course. 